Hi, I'm Julie Faye Van Balzer, and I'm so pleased to say that fitting text to a path is finally here for Canvas Workspace. Now, if you have no idea what that means, don't worry. Essentially, what it means is that you can now curve or shape your text around a path. So check out this video all about it. I'm here in Canvas Workspace for Mac. I have the latest version installed on my Mac, and you can do this in Canvas Workspace for PC as well, but you do, again, need to have the latest version installed. To find if you have the latest version, you simply go up to um, Help, and you will see it says Check for Canvas Workspace Update. So you can check for a Canvas Workspace Update, and if there is one, you can follow the prompts to download it, and if there isn't, then good, 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 good news, you have the latest update, which is totally fantastic. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to first, from the general shapes that are here, I'm going to scroll down to the circles and I'm going to grab myself a circle. And I'm going to make it nice and big just so that I can see everything really easily here on the screen. Then from the menu on the left hand side, I'm going to choose text and click and you can see a text box appears. So I'm going to type in my text, Julie and Steve, I'm going to put a ton of spaces in and then I'm going to put the wedding date down here. You could also do this for any kind of event or party, but this is just a really fun idea. So there's my text. Over on the right hand side in the properties panel, I can now choose my font and I can choose from any of the fonts, the TTF fonts or true type fonts that are on my computer. So I can just scroll through and see what seems right. I can even click on something, see if I like it or not. If I don't like it, I can move on. But I really like this font. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select both parts. You can see that the blue line equals selection. I've selected both parts. Now you're either going to right click or you're going to hold down the control key on your keyboard and click. And you'll see this menu comes up. I want to choose fit to path. Woo, can you see that? So what happened is this fit the text to the path, which is the circle shape. And this would work with any of the shapes. So um, the reason I put so many spaces after the Steve here, right, is because I wanted this to have the right spacing. So let me flip this around and see how it looks. Now, if for some reason this did not look right to you and you wanted to edit the text, you have to release it. So that means you have to hit the control key or right click on it and then say release text from path. And now it's back to normal. And now this would allow you to make whatever changes you want. I could delete out a space if let's say I think there's too much space. And then once again, I would select both parts, hold down my control key or right click and say fit to path, and there it is. And if the spacing looks better to you, that's perfect. There are some other options. If you look over in the properties panel on the right, you can see you can change the horizontal alignment and the text jumps around depending on how you decide to do it. You can also change the vertical alignment. You can see how it that squishes things together a bunch more, which may be the look that you want totally up to you. It is, again, you are the master of it all. Personally, I actually think I'm going to go with this middle. I like that kind of small squish there with this particular font. You can also do the path direction and change it. So you can play around and get the results that you want. So now that I've done this, I could cut this out exactly as it is. I can add more. You can do whatever you want, but now you are able to curve, curl, move text around a shape, it's really exciting. So let me go ahead and play around with this to create a place card. So one last note, you'll notice that I can resize this, but if I select both parts, I can no longer resize it. And even if I group it, I can no longer resize it. So what I want to do if I want to resize the whole thing is I need to convert this to shapes. So again, I'm going to click on the control key or right click and you can see it says convert to shapes. So that's basically going to mean I cannot release this text path. This is completely 100% done exactly the way that it is, which is fine with me. 
So now I can select both parts and now I can easily see the resize button so that if I want to make this a lot smaller so that I can easily fit it on like let's say a four by four circle, there it is just like that. And you can see that I have applied the curved vinyl to a clear circle, which I actually also cut with my scan and cut. These are really cute wedding place cards. You can even add paint to the back and you can coordinate it that way with all of your wedding colors. So curved text is awesome. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to check out my live online scan and cut classes at juliebalzer.com. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget about the scan and cut website at scanandcut.com. <laughs>